guys welcome to a new day of vlogs so today is Doug and I's two year anniversary what you're gonna tell them that why how depressing we're not doing anything <laughs> we're not doing anything <laughs> but we thought we'd go out to lunch because we like to eat first things first we're gonna do a little unboxing a special unboxing special unboxing like, uh, and I'm so excited about it. Um, okay, so if you guys have watched my past few vlogs, I did a collab with Christiana from Flip Side of the Moon, which I'll link her channel below because she's amazing. She sent me the biggest FedEx box. I think some of these things are Japanese. That's you know, also really so we're easy gonna try to tell some snacks. things Korean or Japanese or Chinese by looking at where it's from. That'll say product of Japan, product of Korea. Suck it, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first things first. Strawberry gummy candy. Is this Korean? I'm excited. No, Japanese. Japanese. Okay. Yeah. Gummy. Oh yeah, I've had these. Yeah, we've had like different flavors of these, but the strawberry ones I'm pretty excited about. Wow. Bomb. I love these. This says... Cha Jang noodles. Doug doesn't like when I try and pronounce Asian things. No. <laughs> this looks to Chinese. me it looks like Cha Jang Min. Annabelle, the cow does not fit there. It's like an instant ramen kind of thing. Naga ra ya. They're cracker nuts. Garlic, Garlic cracker, cracker nuts. nuts. Oh my god! Woo! Oh. Nah. Nah, nah. I love it because oh. I love garlic, but oh. this is gonna make your breath smell. Give me another one. Oh. Anything that makes my breath reek, I love. Mm. Oh. Mango, mango version gummy candies. Oh. Bomb. Try it. If you guys notice, I braided Annabelle's hair. So cute. Wow. I can smell mango. It's like so I love strong. It. I love mango. There's another barbecue cracker now. You wanna try a barbecue yeah. one? Dude, if the garlic one was that strong, I wonder what this barbecue one is gonna taste like. Why are you making that monkey face? I got monkey face. Less powerful than I thought. I like it. Looks like she got us some more instant. Some more instant noodles. These instant are instant noodles. These are abalone noodles. Yum. So she like wrote us a letter explaining like how Apparently to... Haley likes turtles. <laughs> says her, says says her son. son. There's a turtle, Annabelle. She says that you can mix this, I think she said, with butter, like in rice. I gotta read it, but she's not gonna give it to me. Yeah. Um, and it looks kind of like a like a red paste. It's sketch. We are in hot pepper paste level three. Oh yeah. Oh. Ho! Straight up pepper. That's I'm crazy. into it. It, says, I love it says it's recommended that you refrigerate after opening. The longer you leave it, the darker it gets. It results in fermentation, so you can consume it without doubts about its quality. Oh, jumbo udon! Oh my god, Doug loves yes. udon. I'm so loves excited. It so much. so excited about this. Jumbo. That means those things look like worms. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know what an udon noodle is, it's the big. <laughs> No, that, those are scissors. Here, Annabelle. This is a jumbo udon. They look like noodles. They're, they're big, noodles. Thick noodles. But they look like you're eating worms. Yeah. It's kind of gross. So before Doug opened this package, what did you say? I'm not gonna I, say. Okay, I, don't I said care. my grandmother's from Kobe. Japan. And, yeah, from Kobe, Japan. So I said if she didn't send us a package that's wrapped in plastic bags with tape and stuff like that, then she's not truly Asian. Whatever that means. <laughs> See, if I said that, I'd be called racist, but Doug's the last to say that. Look at double wrapped. See, double wrapped plastic bags. My grandmother- The Asian way. Used to give me food, no. but it was like, the food put into a plastic Ziploc bag, Ow. wrapped in saran wrap, Ow. and then put in another Ziploc Ow. bag. So, trust me, I'm allowed to say those kinds of things because I, I lived it. I experienced, and Haley's always like, Doug, why are you wrapping that so much? And I'm like saran wrapping things it's like a in lot. your DNA. It is. It's in my DNA <laughs> to do it. I hope she isn't offended by that. No, she's not offended. Okay. <gasps> chopsticks. Oh my God, how good are these? Oh. Chopsticks. So excited. Annabelle loves to poke people with chopsticks. Oh, look. <laughs> oh my God, a little cat chopstick for Annabelle. Cat chopsticks. How cute is that? Hi I love high shoes. Oh, bubble gum. Strawberry flavored, grape flavored, melon flavored, orange flavored, peach, green apple, and then there's a little frog. But it's Marukawa. Interesting. Bubble gum. Oh, stab. she wants just the cat. Oh, she does. When I saw the box, I was like, oh my god, we have to send her things from the south, like food from the south. And then, then Doug and I were like, what are we gonna send her? <laughs> well, this is we can't really send her like barbecue. We can. We'll send. We'll probably do shrimp and grits. We'll do barbecue sauce, sweet teas, pimento cheese. 
<laughs> yeah, pimento cheese. This is gonna take like See, an look, hour to wrap open. With other tape on here, <laughs> Christiana. You are truly Asian. Don't, don't, you are truly Asian. Well, she's half Korean, if you guys don't know. Doug's only a quarter Japanese, but like I like to say, he always milks it. I do, I milk, I milk it a lot. I always appreciate the thoughtfulness that goes into an Asian wrapping something because it means they really care about what's there. They do. I mean, my grandmother always wanted to make sure that I got that 80 pound bag of rice. Dude, his grandma <laughs> literally sent us an 80 pound bag of rice. It's 50 pounds, but it was still like a really but big I think we rice. like, Use it in three years. Yeah. Like, it was so crazy. <laughs> when it was done, we were like, oh my god, we have to go buy rice. Oh and my. So, Doug and I have been wanting to I... buy like bo Japanese bowls or Asian bowls. I am so excited. Yeah, he, you don't even know. Like, yeah, because. You're like a chopstick. Like, we should have bought some before we left. We've never had Japan. like proper bowls. It's a rice bowl. Oh, it's it says, a rice bowl. It says, do not microwave. Healing. I'm like the worst at that. The worst. I microwave all of Annabelle's like baby bowls and it's like, do not yeah, microwave. Yeah, they're all warm. They start sparking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, she even gave us legit spoons. We'll have to make ramen or. She got us. Oh my God. Literal Korean barbecue beef marinade. We're not the real surprise, but we're gonna do a shokugeki vlog. Just kidding. <laughs> we're gonna do a, a food tour of California. In a vlog. In a vlog while we're there, so. Show you guys all our favorite spots. Trip chips. Let's try it. Let me smell it. Oh. Holy hell. <laughs> this is, this smells like a Korean restaurant. <laughs> Does it not? I like them. They don't really taste too shrimpy if you just eat them, but if you smell it. We gotta get that zoom in on Annabelle's face. <laughs> this is called high tempura chicken larb flavor. It's like a deep fried seaweed snack. She loves seaweed. Here you go. Okay, if she likes this, she is a true Asian she has true Asian genes. I don't know if you'll like it, but I love it. I love this flavor. I like it. I don't know if it's because I'm starving, but it tastes like seaweed. Well, I mean, it is seaweed, but it tastes like spicy seaweed. I love how they put the like absorbent right in here with the food. <laughs> <laughs> Shin Ramyun noodle soup. Yum. I'm excited about these and we can put them into our soup bowls wherever they want. Instant me grain. Barbecue chicken flavored noodles. Noodles. Mm. Hello Panda cookie snacks. I've never had these, have you? Yeah, they're pretty good. Well, I haven't had these ones specifically. They are cookies filled with strawberry cream. Annabelle's like, ooh, Panda. Oh my God, these are like little puffy, puff cookies. Oh, they're puffy. They're so good. Thank you, so Christiana. Thank you so much. I'm literally blown away. It's like the nicest thing. So yeah, if you guys haven't already checked out, this is not even a collab. I'm just no, obsessed. She just sent us this box and <laughs> yeah. we're like, well, we gotta open it Yeah, now. I have to. Um, if you guys want to check out her channel, I'll link it below. Purple, they have the colors of the rainbow. So right now, I'm going to this place called Five Loaves in Mount Pleasant, near Charleston. And it's basically like a fancier Panera Bread. <laughs> it is. But it's good, it's good. Annabelle for some reason loves- She's like obsessed with the food. The food there, she loves it. Like oh she loves God. the broccoli. She eats all the broccoli, probably because there's butter and garlic on it. I just realized that you look like my mom. Because I have the clip-ons? <laughs> he has the clip-on, like, sunglasses. It's pretty funny, huh? They're, like, we way too big for my glasses. Um, but for some reason, I, like, accidentally ordered them, I guess. And Doug is just well adding just to your dad ways. I am adding to my dad ways. If I really wanted to step up the dad ways, i get the kind that flip up. Oh yeah, I need my dad has those. Yeah. Dude, you guys, stepping out of our car, it feels like I'm stepping into a sauna or like a steam room. This is such crazy humidity. Can't wait for our minivan. Oh, that's gonna be so nice. Yeah. Using our starry pattern cover today, which is on Amazon Prime or regular Amazon if you don't have Prime. <laughs> it's available either way. Yep, Doug has a sweet tea, which he's obsessed with. I got a Coke, cause it's a special occasion. A special occasion. <laughs> Any excuse. <laughs> this is a mass amount of food. Thank you very much. I got a portobello. This is so rare for me because I never get anything like without meat, but it must be a pregnancy thing. Portobello burger on like multigrain. And I got a salad. Yeah. Annabelle's shirt is way too big, or dress. She got chicken and broccoli and some fruit over there, which we're hiding. And Doug got broccoli, cheddar, potato soup, and a Reuben. And we're on the head bump. Head bump. Oh, 
look who's dead asleep. Gets her fill on food and then decides to just sleep. Yep. Food coma. <laughs> so it's two o'clock. Annabelle woke up from her nap and I am in my bathroom, which is an actual disaster because I am in the process of going through all the stuff that I do not use and either giving it away or I can't really donate it because everything is like half used. I wanted to share with you guys this new product. So if you guys have never heard of Dollar Shave Club, you need to get on it. I actually just unboxed like the box this week and I am going to be 100% honest. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because I've been using the same razor for probably like four or five years and it would take a lot for me to switch razors. So let me get the razor for you guys. It is in my shower. Okay, so I just use like a standard razor from Target and I think it's like $13 for like the flimsiest, you guys know which one this one is, um, the flimsiest razor ever. And I have super thick like coarse hair so I always get like ingrown, I don't know, this is TMI, but I always get like razor bumps in my bikini line, ingrown hairs. So I don't know why I keep repurchasing that one. I just think, I don't know, I just never have wanted to try anything else. So this is the Dollar Shave Club razor. And everybody kind of has their like everyday grooming routine. I wash my hair every other day. I shave my legs pretty much every day because if I don't, it would be a nightmare. But besides Dollar Shave Club's razors, they also have a ton of different other grooming products that you can choose from. They have toothbrush, body wash, hair styling products. So not just razors and everything is so affordable. So these are some of their products that you get in their box. The handle is like so heavy. It reminds me of like one of Doug's razors, so like a man's razor. And for whatever reason, I don't know, just for me, like female based razors, they just do not get a close shave. And these are unisex, so they're not like necessarily just for men. But yeah, the handle is like very heavy and it gives you a really close shave. So anyways, in my box, which is $5, I'll talk more about that later. So you get everything for $5. Um, you get Amber Lavender Body Cleanser. You get an easy shave butter, which is actually so good and it smells nice too. And then these are really popular. These are called One Wipe Charlies, which are basically like, I don't know, they're just flushable moist wipes. If you guys, I don't need to go into detail, but these are peppermint scented. Doug actually really likes these a lot too. Um, and then this is their razor. So you get four different razor heads that are interchangeable, obviously, and the razor handle itself. So I've tried both of these and the shave butter is by far like my absolute favorite because it makes my legs and I do shave my arms, um, but it makes my body basically really smooth. And honestly, I just do not get that kind of smoothness if I just use like a body wash or a regular shaving cream. So the Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away their daily essential starter set to new members for only $5. So the starter set gives you three free trial size versions of their most popular products. So these are the ones that I got along with the executive razor. So this is like the big bad razor that I was talking about that is so good. So after the first box, replacement cartridges are sent every month for just a couple dollars. So it's actually way cheaper than me going to like a drugstore and buying an expensive women's razor. And I'm honestly gonna get Dollar Shave Club from here on out because because they are just, I don't know, this razor is just so much better. So this $5 offer is available at dollarshaveclub.com slash Haley Page. So I keep getting questions to do like a hairstyling tutorial. I am not the best. I actually did not like my hair in my 23 pregnancy update when I was editing it. I just thought it was way too curly. Sometimes this haircut can look like a mushroom. But anyways, today I curled it with a straightener and I feel like it's a lot more. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot more natural. You guys can let me know what you think. Um, I also think I want to get like my highlights lightened. Uh -uh. I do not want her to jump off the couch. Oh, she jumping off? She looked like she wanted to. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so maybe I'll do that in the next vlog. But so far, I still really like my hair. Doug likes it too. He likes it too much. I know. I feel like I'm just shitting on your former self. I'm I know, well, every, every time he's like, you should keep it like that for a couple years. I was like, the <laughs> heck was wrong with my last haircut? I like it. It wasn't real, it was all extensions. <laughs> <laughs> I could never tell what was real and what wasn't. All right, you guys, we weren't planning on eating out, but we're here. <laughs> we're at this place called Guadalajara. We're like the only ones in here. So far, the chips and salsa are good. I like them. Annabelle is giving us lots of salt. <laughs> Got some guacamole. Mm -mm. Oh, and pepper. <laughs> okay, you guys, there's literally a fly at the window and Annabelle takes off her shoe to squish it. She's like... And I'm like, where did you get that from? 
She says, shoe. Yeah, out, shoe out, fly. she's saying. No, shoe fly. Okay, I don't know about that. Ate half my food, forgot to vlog it. Doug got a burrito. These are what the burritos look like in the South. <laughs> I mean, he likes it. It's good, right? It's good. It is different. Annabelle sharing mine, but I got enchilada, shrimp taco on the side, taco, rice and beans. Yum, yum. Hey guys, so I never finished the vlog. You still haven't finished that vlog? Do you even know what the vlog is? No. <laughs> I have a feeling it's that- It's the unboxing one. Oh, I figured. Yeah. Anyways, we filmed it yesterday, but Doug doesn't even know what is on the internet of him and what is not, because he never watches. No, never do. <laughs> Today is a special day because it's gonna rain today. <laughs> it's not just gonna rain today. It's gonna rain for like eight days straight. Yes! <laughs> Doug was showing me like, what is that thing? Oh, the Doppler. Like, the number uh, one yeah. thing I like about Charleston is the fact that it rains, yeah. like a lot. Although I feel like I would like more rain than this. Maybe I'm more suited for Seattle. I don't think so. I don't think Haley knows what she's talking about. I don't know either, but like they say it rains a lot here, but I still don't think it's enough rain. Like I would like more. Like if it could rain every three days, I think I'd be happy. I don't know about that. I'm just happy I don't have to water my lawn. Yeah. For another Annabelle eight days. just woke up from her nap. Oh, She's a lovely peach. Hello, Look peach. at that peach. The only thing I fit in is Doug's shirts. Does he even notice? <laughs> no. But then when he does notice, he's like, hey, oh, yeah, take my I shirt off. Shirt fact, I'm like, this know. is a shirt I got for you at Target. So just as much mine. No, it's not. It's a oh, good it's fellow. Nice. Is it yeah. good? Okay, it's Target. Look at that peach. She's very cross. Mm -hmm. She says, I'm very cross when I wake up. Mm-hmm. So if I look kind of disheveled, I was laying next to Annabelle when she's taking her nap like normal. But anyways, right now it's really exciting because I'm actually going through applications to hire someone um, for our businesses. I think I might already have a person in mind, but I don't know, I thought I'd share this with you guys because for those of you guys who have been following me and my channel for like years now, you'll know just like what a milestone this is and how exciting it is. So I've actually never hired anybody. And let me think. No, I've never hired anybody like as far as payment wise to help me with my channel um i have partnered up with like a graphic designer before cassie dolworth which she's amazing if you haven't checked out her work she did like my Haley page banner and a lot of things on my website i'll actually link her channel or she has a youtube channel but i'll link her website below if you want a graphic designer but she's pretty much the only person i can think of that has ever like um worked with me and i've actually never paid anybody to do anything for my youtube channel which is actually not necessarily a good thing because I don't know in order to like progress you have to like hire people and do just other things beyond the scope of what you can do because pretty much Doug is like a wizard at a lot of the stuff as far as like online marketing and like not really social media that's not really his forte but um just like SEO and like ranking as you guys know. So he puts together my websites and codes them and makes sure they're all running. So like my Haley page blogs, which I rarely post on, but hopefully with um, hiring someone new, I can start posting on there like a lot more because I love blogging like first and foremost, it's like my baby. Um, although YouTube's also my baby. But anyways, I came from blogging. So Doug can basically do pretty much most everything, but with the Amazon business actually coming along very nicely, like it's, definitely something we want to scale and focus our attention on because it's the place that is making us money right now so we want him to focus all of his attention on Amazon and like building a Shopify site so that just means that there is way less like help for me and yeah so hiring someone is something that I've been wanting to do for probably like a year but it's super daunting because I don't know it's just hard giving all of your like passwords and emails over to someone that you've never met or that you just don't fully trust yet so there's quite a large vetting process but yeah so that is exciting but i thought i would share with you guys and i'll definitely give you an update along the way and i'll let you know if i found anybody annabelle's being my little secretary girl for some reason she every time she gets a laptop she pulls it onto her legs probably because that's how i sit with it annabelle you little secretary girl she's like oh yes i just pulled out the charger anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's long vlog um let me know if you want to see more vlogs so i know that i should still make them because i'm always kind of like unsure i don't know why um but anyways thank you guys for no why do they want to eat everything don't eat everything that doesn't go in your mouth 
Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye, guys. Say bye.